guys, it's me, Rue, a.k.a. Two Foot Cripple Lady. <laughs> okay, so why am I back so quick? There's a good reason for that. I'm back because I wanted to share with you all the insane 48 hours, almost 72 hours, that me and everyone else who lives in the Ohio region of the United States has gone through. Because, boy, has it been crazy. So, let's see, I think it was three days ago now, we woke up to it raining so hard that I don't think anyone ever experienced rain like this in quite a while. At least Ohioans. It was flooding everywhere. Places that never flood were getting flooded. People were stuck in their cars just floating on by like it was a boat. Okay, you know, it was bad, but we got through it. We got through it, we all survived, everything was great. And then, a few hours after that, the rain started to calm down, another area in Ohio, which happened to be the area that my sister lives in, they got what you call a microburst. Now, what is a microburst? It basically is kind of like just a really heavy wind that just hits out of nowhere, and the wind is so strong that um, trees fall down, and you can have a lot of damage done. It's almost like a tornado, except no funnel cloud. But anyways, so that hit, and then after that, just like not even, I think two or three hours after that, we got another warning. A earthquake hit. Yes, you heard me right. A earthquake hit. And it basically was all within, I don't want to say the same vicinity, but the area was not too far from each other. It wasn't like, you know, hours away from each other. It was probably like, I don't know, I don't know how, how many miles, but driving-wise, I would say to get from where my sister lives to where the earthquake was, I would say no more than 30, maybe 40 minute drive. So yeah, that happened. And then we thought, okay, nothing else can happen because we basically experienced everything, right? Wrong. I went to bed and here's what I experienced. I went to bed and I heard some thunder and I heard a little bit of wind and I thought, ah, no big deal, it's just a thunderstorm, regular thunderstorm, easy peasy. Then all of a sudden at 12, I don't know, a little after 12, maybe 12.05 or or something, I heard the biggest, loudest noise, like wind, except really weird wind, and then everything outside in my yard was just flying all over the place because I could hear it. I could hear everything flying from the garbage cans 
to my dad's like tools and equipment that he has all around the yard. And then all of a sudden, after I start to hear all this stuff flowing, all of a sudden our house, my bedroom literally starts to shake. And I mean shake, like the walls were shaking. And then all of a sudden I look and the window was like shaking. I was like, oh my God, I don't think this is a thunderstorm. I think this is a tornado. I have never been through a tornado, a tornado in my life, never experienced it. But from what I know of it, I think this feels like a tornado. And so I quickly grabbed my phone to wake my mom up because my mom was asleep. My dad had just got up because he had started to hear everything flying around in the yard. And immediately as my mom was waking up, our electricity just went out. Now, thankfully for us, it quickly came back on the second the storm calmed down. But everybody else in Ohio was not lucky. And people are still without electricity even now. My sister herself has been without electricity for over 24 hours. I want to say it's going to be close to 48 hours now. But, um, yeah, so she was without electricity. And so, anywho, I wake my mom up and I'm like, I don't know what just happened. It was the biggest windstorm I've ever seen. I really think a tornado hit. And I think my mom kind of thought I was maybe exaggerating because I kind of could do that sometimes, especially with thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are like the worst thing ever to me. I don't know why, but with everything I've been through, you would think a thunderstorm would be like nothing to me. But for some reason, thunderstorms do cause a little bit of anxiety for me. And in this moment, this was like my worst nightmare coming true, especially my childhood nightmares, because I always used to worry when I was a kid and always dreamed about being stuck in a tornado and everyone else was asleep. And that was coming true now. <laughs> and so I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, I have to be exaggerating and, you know, just overthinking things. But dang, this felt like a tornado to me. And my mom first thought that, like I said, that I was exaggerating, I think, because she was kind of like, ah, oh, it's okay. Just go back to bed. We'll be okay. We're good. And then all of a sudden, we started getting alerts everywhere. Tornado, tornado, tornado. And then the next morning, they confirmed that indeed it was a tornado that hit the area. And the weird thing is, is it reacted just like a tornado too, in the sense that some things in our yard were like flown all over the place, but then other things were not even touched. Like I said, my dad's tools and my dad's, uh, I mean, and our garbage cans were thrown all over. But a little, a few feet away from that area, we have um, patio furniture and the patio furniture was not even touched. A pillow didn't even fall over on the patio furniture. So that was just crazy and very mind boggling, but yet wasn't because I've heard that that's what happens during tornadoes. So yeah, it was crazy though. And it was undeniably the craziest, weirdest 
felt like I was dreaming. And I'm so mad that my mom was asleep because I'm the only one that pretty much experienced it, at least in my world. It was crazy. So yeah, so we had a crazy 48 hours in Ohio. Again, I will share everything that happened. Number one, flood. Number two, microburst. Number three, earthquake. Number four, tornado. And actually, it wasn't just one tornado. There were, <clears throat> there were five different types of tornadoes that hit Ohio that night, which was last night five different tornadoes. Now, all five didn't hit the area that I live in. We only got one, but the one that we did get was the biggest one also, which is crazy because the area of Ohio that I live in is more like the city. Well, it is the city and we live very close to downtown, uh, so it's just weird because usually it's not, I'm not saying it's not Im impossible, so no one manipulate my words, but usually tornadoes do not tend to hit in inner cities where there's lots of tall buildings and isn't a lot of land. Usually, tornadoes will hit more in the country side of Ohio. But no, these were not in the country. These were all in the city and in the downtown area. I don't want to say which city because for like privacy reasons and safety reasons, I don't want to share where I exactly live on social media. But I know you guys, if you do your research, you can probably find out, but I'm not going to open that door if I don't have to. Um, but I do live more in the downtown area of Ohio and or one of the downtown areas within Ohio and this particular area hardly ever gets even a bad storm, let alone a tornado. I mean, I've been alive for 37 years, and this is the very first time we have ever experienced a tornado that I know of, or that I could remember. And trust me, I would remember because, like I said, Tornadoes are like my biggest fear, but um, yeah, it was crazy. It was the most craziest thing. And then I like didn't know what to do because I knew it was a tornado, but yet I was like, oh, what if it's not? And what if I wake my family up for no reason? And I look like a baby and let me just suck it up and, you know, just see what happens. But it was a freaking tornado, guys. And I was just sitting here like, holy Jesus. Tornado. Tornado. <laughs> so, yeah, that was so scary. But I got through it. So... At least I dealt with one of my fears, I guess. And maybe it will no longer be a fear. I don't know. But all I know is my bedroom was shaking like it was earthquake. Actually, at first, I was wondering if another earthquake was hitting. And if this time it was hitting more towards our area and maybe I felt it. But then I was like... No, because I have been through an earthquake before, and I know what that feels like. 
and this felt different in the sense because you could literally feel like, I don't know, it's just weird for that brief moment. But it was very quick. Like within probably 30 seconds, it was all said and done. But it was insane, guys. So yeah, if you live in Ohio and you dealt with any of the things that I just mentioned, comment below. Tell me what you experienced. Because I experienced a lot in that 30 seconds. Now thankfully, we did not deal with the microburst or the earthquake or even the flooding. We only dealt with the tornado part. But, let me tell you, that was enough. I am so thankful, though, that our electricity did not go out. I do believe that the Lord protected me and my family in that sense. Because if our electricity had gone out as long as my sister's has been out, I don't know what I would have done. I really don't. I would have probably have had to go to the emergency room just for oxygen because I know that they wouldn't be able to give me enough tanks to last me 48 hours. So I would have had to go just because of this. So thankfully, our electricity went back on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for protecting me. All right, guys. I just wanted to come on and share what it has been like to be a Ohioan in the last 48 hours. <laughs> Bye.